Hi guys, welcome to part 13 of my 2024 Christmas Village full tutorial series. When a problem strikes my brain, my damaged brain, my very, very damaged brain, I must solve it at any cost, maybe working 24 hours a day on it. Not true because I still have a job uh, and during the day I try to hide that problem in some very, very dark places <laughs> of my brain. But almost all the places are dark right now. And I had to find that solution during the nights and the evenings. I sketched, I resketched, I recalculated many, many times how to get up to 20 centimeters of eight, just with 35 centimeters of depth. Yes, I know, I still have another part that is the curved section. So maybe I could have solved it quickly with simply a ramp or stairs or a slope of uh, some type, getting an L-shaped, a 90 degrees shaped um, design. But come on, the left side is so different, so strange, so uncommon compared to what I did in the past seasons. That for me, that was a waste of time solution, not up to the, to the left side of my layout. And that problem was almost impossible to solve. I spent all the nights, and sorry if I am in this mood right now, but I find uh, the solution maybe, but I'm not certain until, until I will uh, show you the semi-final result in the final recap, maybe, I think. But I will show you what I have uh, found uh, as solution during this part. 13. Uh, but uh, this... Uh, completely ruined my week. I focused on that problem and I don't know how much of the rest of the work I should have done uh, will I be able to show you in just a few hours of work before I have to, uh, to, to go online with this, uh, with this new part 13. Uh, let me start showing some something but i don't know how much i will be able to show you well guys i must admit that i had a very rough tough week the past seven days have been an l simply because i couldn't find a decent solution to get access to the, let's call it a graveyard section from the ground level with 20.5 centimeters to climb. So from here to there, 20.5 centimeters. It seems nothing from here to there but it is a nightmare to find a solution um, last I have uh, this part to climb from the left side and uh, the equivalent uh, height to climb was on the right side and I came up with the solution of the arcade ramps, Roman architecture ramp, let's call it like that. But to climb the 20.5 centimeters from the right side, I used 60 centimeters 
of depth in three rounds. So starting from this point, then 60 centimeters, then turning around, then another 60 centimeters to climb, then turn up, and finally another six centimeter, 60 centimeters. It's like having 60 plus 60 plus 60, 180 centimeters. That's six feet of length <laughs> to climb 20 centimeters. Sorry, 20.5 centimeters. But from the left side, I just add and I still have 35 centimeters of depth from there to here. So climb from here to there with just half the depth I add on the right side. Uh, but I add uh, and I still have a 90 degrees corner. So I have 35 centimeters, then I have almost 50 centimeters like that. That means that I could have gone with uh, um, 85 centimeters a stair with at some point a 90 degrees turn and to climb. So a stair getting there and then up almost 10 centimeters from this side and then the other 11.5 centimeters from the 90 degrees turn. Yes, but it isn't visually um, compliant for me. Having a 90 degrees stairs, yes, I could have done that simply, easily, but it's a couple of straight lines and uh, I've done other things in my in this 2024 season. I made arcs, I made a, a bridge, a long bridge, 60 centimeters, not simple stairs. I made a snake turning around the stairs. And I didn't want to just go with some two straight lines. Uh, Yes, maybe I thought more about me than the final result. Result, sorry, I was maybe too selfish to try to find a good solution. I calculated, I sketched, I wasted almost eighty sheets of paper, and. And I wasn't satisfied. Sorry, I'm uh, I'm not in the good mood in a good mood right now. Um, simply because I'm feeling like I've uh, lost a week of work that took me behind schedule right now with so many things to do. Uh, finally, I put my eyes on what uh, I have still left to show you or maybe you have already seen that I printed during the off season and that I haven't used yet. And a particular model light me up, but it wasn't enough simply because it is just 8.5 centimeters tall so these compared to the two these eight here to climb not enough but i have a giant bridge why not adding some other giant bridge in just 35 centimeters impossible you are right it is impossible uh, especially because I want to have some arcs, a bridge without arcs under it, it's not a bridge. And I didn't want a too steep stairs. 
So I manage something, I know, I am talking too much. I will come to the result in just some seconds. I manage to build together, to bring together a stair, a bridge, and something I cannot uh, describe because it's like having a stair upon a stair upon a stair. Craziness, maybe I was completely hopeless at that moment when I sketched the final thing. But the first Uh, the first part will be a stairs that I had to divide in two because it was too big to print in just one single piece on a standard um, FDM 3D printer. So the first part is these stairs. I will approach the camera a little more it is a stone stair and the bridge, it is a stone bridge, as you can see, it is a stone bridge, maybe you aren't seeing, it is a stone bridge with Victorian balusters, but no see-through balusters, it is plain uh, stone with around the with uh, sorry square head uh, pillars at the beginning and these took 11 hours to print almost 12 hours to print and from the other side it is the same with some support in the middle etc the steps are old and damaged and ruined as this is uh, a common uh, attribute to all I have modeled, especially the stairs, even the handrail there, it is damaged, it has some holes, some scratches, some grooves. But the stair, uh, generally it ends with this little thing there. So the first centimeters to get from ground to here are 12.7 centimeters, a little more than half the eight to, to climb, okay? Half the eight to climb. And I will need to assemble this in just some minutes as I go. I don't know if I need to explain every and single one of the pieces or if it is better to assemble it once uh, piece, uh, piece, piece by piece. Maybe it is like that that I should uh, advance with this. I still need to clean it a little. Uh, maybe it is enough for right now. And I will try to assemble this uh, at my best, uh, taking in consideration that uh, they need to be at the same height, and th it is, they are at the same height, and I will use some of my uh, um, resin of my UV light resin, okay, uh, and I will use a UV lamp as you have already seen me using many times to get these uh, together. Then I will explain what will come next. So it is a step by step, I know, but simply think that all you will see except the final part, <laughs> took me 18 hours to model, uh, two nights. I, I didn't sleep from 
Wednesday night up until uh, Friday night, okay? It was roading me inside. I couldn't find a solution, a decent solution, and I've tried many solutions. I wasted so much styrofoam and so much filament to try to find the correct solution. And I'm, I'm so bad right now. Okay, let's glue this together. Good, so the first part is like this, as you have understood. And guys, don't worry, uh, with this kind of method of gluing them together, the two parts, it will be completely invisible because the layer, it's not like a glue, it's some uh, little parts of a millimeters. We are talking about 0.03 millimeters of thickness. It will be completely uh, the, uh, invisible on the, under the painting, under the primer and the painting. I did the same thing with the statue, the giant statue. And uh, there were no trace of, uh, of uh, these... Uh, uh, gluing, uh, let's call them uh, gluing path patterns there. Okay, so it will be practically invisible. And guys, this is absolutely, uh, absolutely perfect for gluing the two parts together. They will not came off. Just a few seconds of UV light and the resin polymerize and becomes plastic. Ah, obviously, it uh, uh, generates some heat, but not enough to melt the plastic there. So, use this method if you want the cleanest possible assembling, not using hot gun glue or super glue that would, would have taken much more time to cure. Okay, this is absolutely, and at work they are starting to ask why I only have tanned ends. <laughs> That's because I'm using UV lights only with my ends. Let's continue. You see there that it, the, there is a starting of an arc. Because this is a bridge uh, climbing up 
those 12 centimeters then begin the bridge. This could have been a ramp, but it was too steep as a, as a ramp, so instead with some steps it becomes more real and the steps are irregular, as I already did in the right side. Let's continue. Normally I would have used these holes here that I've created with those little clips there that you can see there that goes inside here and get these connected together two pieces get connected together I will show you um, but obviously I will also use some glue I was saying normally I would have used this configuration here let me use it in order to let you see the original configuration I had in mind uh, what I have here inside oops it it has generated some supports sorry I haven't noticed them before so let's remove the supports and let's remove this other support there the other side there are no supports okay I would have used this like that and then some other clips a couple more clips to get these assemble like that and then I will have continued with a straight line and you already you have already seen that balusters and end rails stop here okay but these would have been the result of my design then with the arc continuing here okay so this is a bridge even bigger and the arcs are even larger than my giant bridge that I have in front uh, all along the front of the layout but it is too large guys it takes too much space to get where I want or where I need to go these guys is already 39 centimeters what does this means that these column here will be against the wall the wall that is uh, the exit of the gothic arc where I have a house against it and this will already getting against the wall from the other side crashing on the wall that is here and on top of which you have or I have the graveyard and I cannot accommodate in just this space here that is 15 centimeters what I need to support the last part of the layout or of the climbing okay so when I was modeling this I stumped against that once I modeled the stair and the first arc and the support for the next arc I, I said to myself uh, let's go and measure on the on, on my 3d modeling software and I swear it I said mm, 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 mm. 39 centimeters 37 come on come on yes now I am edulcorating what I said in that moment but uh, it's not suited for everyone what I said out loud in plain middle of the night so I had <laughs> 
I was starting to cry, then I had to, to, talk to told to myself this is a standard arc, it surely supports the weight, it is physically correct. Then, can I modify it in order to be physically correct and gain some space, some more space? Let me remove the clips there. So Half an, hour, half an hour later, I come to this, if this is 7.8 centimeters, this is only 3.8 centimeters, so 4 centimeters less with this little arc here. Let me clean this. I haven't had the time to clean everything correctly. That's what's happened when you work in plain middle of the night. And this came out, not this, but this one came out of the 3D printer a couple of minutes before I went to take the morning shower. Okay, so I will. I told you I had a very, very difficult week. Let, let's say a very difficult week, but instead it is a week that shouldn't be uh, in my mind. Uh, okay. Let's have and let's take a look. Still some supports to get rid of there and here. Okay. And if I use the same technique of adding the clips there, that will help me glue this together. This is as you have guessed, a modular bridge or bridgish, because in future I may use it as a bridge, but I will need to 3D print against everything. But because not right now, I think I will glue it. I will glue each piece together. Now, if I get these. No, it is the opposite way, sorry. Anyway, I need to respect the stones. Yeah, it is like that. Like that. And then, like this, you see that he is, yes, an arc. Yes, physically correct, because this tends to be as a Roman arc, this tends to be more like a Gothic arc, so a little narrower. And the distance is only 35 centimeters, the depth. So I still have one centimeters to avoid this to get against the exit of the gallery, of uh, the tunnel, okay? Ha, ha, yeah, but, uh-uh, no. <laughs> I just have three more centimeters. I had just three more centimeters to accommodate what is the what will be there. Not enough and not as this it should be. 
But then I turned to myself. Though um, do the bridges need to be only straight? Maybe yes, but maybe not, guys. So I used the same technique of this one. You can see that in the middle, it's like having two of those one together, okay, with some more space in the middle. I've simply enlarged it there. But this is a three side section. This is called a T section because it allows me to go up there, ending here, but also continuing from one side and from the other side, guys. <sighs> Interesting, no? But obviously, this will be. Always the wrong side, but I can go. Okay, my bad. I haven't modeled it very core, very, very symmetrically, but this will be covered, guys. So shh, don't tell anyone if the joining stones, if the stones don't join them together. Here, yes. But from this side, no, I made a mistake there. But I had time to remodel everything. So now, yes, I will need... I have, once again, 37 centimeters, so I will have no choice than to slide back the wall where the graveyard start that will be here but some centimeters four three four five maybe five centimeters but i have that space but these allow me to continue from one side and from the other side guys let me have these Cleaned. Oh, I should have also cleaned these a little more here. Yeah, there is good here. Okay. So, T section like that, but then I can go this way with what once was here, and I go there, and this time I did it correctly. And I 3D printed another of those ones that goes there. So uh, like that, yes. Ba -bam! Wow, guys, now I have something that is getting there, guys because it has arcs, guys, and even from this side, they may seem unreal, but these can also support weight, not as much as these arc here, but they can support weight, but those will be against the wall. And these arc here brings light 
to the main structure. It's not like having a wall, a complete wall, uh, closing it with two stairs getting around. So this is a T section. So the stairs will not be against this wall, because this side here will be against the wall, and on top of here you will have some other things, but here I will have some space for the final, uh, for the final thing, and I will not use this piece. I could have, but I will not. I will not. I will end it here, but before getting to the last part, uh, let me glue together those ones. I will do it uh, right now, but off camera, <laughs> you have seen me doing everything already there. Okay, I will stop the camera for, let's say, 15 minutes, then I will be back to you with the last astonishing <laughs> for me thing. Good, so not 15 but 20 minutes later, I have this done almost. I still see a little hole there. Like that. And done. But no balusters, nothing here, and we are still at 13.3 centimeters, not 20.5. But guys, let me clean. If you watched my preseason series on how to build by yourself, do it yourself, street lamps for your Christmas villages, my four part mini series. You may have noticed this little guy here. And I will show it to you like this also. So stairs, platform, stairs that goes here and up here, and the stairs that goes there. This was what I liked the most of what I've modeled and 3D printed off season. And as you may recognize these two connectors, this was meant to be used on the bridge. But adding these from each side of the big giant bridge make it unsuitable for carriages, for slates, for mini 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 whatever it has some wheels. Okay, because it is pure uh, Victorian and even a little more Gothic design. And this one too wouldn't fit on one single part on the 3D printers. And these took, this piece here took 25 hours, one day and one hour to 3D print. This took four hours. The, uh, last part, but this piece here took one day to 3D print, not at top speed, not a lower speed, but at a speed much higher than standard 3D printers. And this guy is rounded as the plaza stairs, sorry for the camera, as the plaza stairs are irregular because they are not regular but then goes to the u-turn stairs this is another variation of stairs i've never used it up then right left up right up left 
and then a mini balcony and here you have some alcove there to place something but I also modeled some doors if I wanted to add some doors two trees there and then some um, wall uh, torches there but they are too small I made a mistake another mistake there too small they will not fit uh, no LED will fit inside and here I don't know if you can see it but I have the same design that I have on the on the bridge balusters similar to those balusters here guys similar so I went using those one implementing them there why guys because these will go there guys maybe not that but like that having maybe a little problem getting everything there but i will uh, place it as i can in plain middle okay i just need to place a middle and this will be my crazy solution so and these guys haha <laughs> is a little more than 20.5 centimeters but i couldn't avoid it it's 21 centimeters so i will need to arrange half a centimeters uh, somehow to get this correctly done and this is my crazy solution too simple to go with one straight stairs and these having these unused because it was unused and will not have been used otherwise it is a it is a waste but this also will be not at ground level not at middle level but babam there in plain view adding another point of view to the climbing towards the uh, graveyard section maybe giving too much importance to the graveyard but just remember that beside the graveyard that will be here here you have some very important section the left section with the highest, highest number of houses there and yes this will not be accessible by rich people with carriages they will just need to climb to there and even from what it is there on the left of this will only have access by stairs many type of stairs but it is intended for me to be like that ramps are on the right side of the layout here for me pardon me but it is the much interesting part where lives where real lives will be and maybe i will have a little problem of overlapping as these uh, no, I don't think so. For this part here, there, that is not supported by anything right now, but I will not glue it there now because I need to place it correctly. And if I miss some baluster, if I go there and I miss some more balusters, I have also modeled them like that to be used. Uh, as uh, additional balusters and and rails you know like that uh, i would have loved to go like that but this is too far from that but maybe i can manage to go 
like that maybe it is enough like that and i will add something to support these this side here but it is a pity not to use it like it should be used but this is um, what I came up with maybe I will go like that but I don't know because these won't be supported enough I need to check what distance I will have but then this I can't leave it like that so I modeled some strange things a, a strange thing there that will go like this and will cover the two holes for the clip this side here will be against the wall so it won't it won't be it won't will it will not be visible okay i was adding too much verbs okay just a quick cleaning of these okay good so even this side here will be will have a decent uh, coverage like that with the camera the other side will be against the wall oh well, guys you will see this maybe primed uh yes primed i think yes in the final recap of this part 13 it is huge maybe but it is the last difficult thing i had to do because the rest will be piece of cake compared to what i had to do well guys i have an announcement this will be the last update concerning this second teamed section then this section will be added or will disappear for at least a couple of weeks simply because with the next update this will be too revealing and i don't want to waste the surprise but don't worry, I will continue to work on camera, but not posting an update until the day of the revealing where it will be revealed and I will <laughs> reveal it. And all the updates I made after this one will be shown, okay? Will be on that part. At least a couple of weeks, guys. I will add something now, then uh, I will start priming, then adding the figures or the figurines, okay? And it will be too revealing. I know I am bad, but I never said otherwise. So guys, uh, let me add something like this one. Uh, this is nothing more than uh, some sort of uh, pipe radiator if you want these uh, those are one two three four five pipes getting inside this structure that is cut that is not entire because this will be hidden somehow and uh, these will once again be part of the back side i was thinking to put it like that or somehow like like that i will need to place it and then do some carving do some holes i think i will go like that 
I will mark where Good. While these cure, okay, uh, then obviously it will be painted, and I will fill the um, the gaps with some plaster. Next one will be this little thing here, that is nothing more than uh, a mix of cogs and wheels and mechanism, okay. And these will be I think like that. Okay, I can remove this one as this is cured. Okay, I will fill the two holes there. Okay, voila, so the back, I think I will add nothing more on the back, obviously right now it is awful, 
but uh, once painted and everything else etc uh, filling the gaps with some uh, with some plaster etc it will be at least decent looking I hope a little more than decent then uh, I will add a pipe another last pipe here coming out from the bottom of the tank and getting inside here then the rest will be the front here the important thing will be the front what will be here and then here okay but why not adding these two elements there they don't they don't seem to uh, out of place there okay like that then then nothing say bye bye to this second teammate section as it will be hided from now on when i start working on the second teammate section i knew uh, i will need some damaged iron parts some uh, ruined some rusted iron parts so i show you how to get them uh, in these conditions simulating the rust the action of the rust on those iron uh, uh, items so i simply use the some vinegar to get the surface uh, ready then I submerged all these pieces in some mix of hydrogen peroxide and salt, kitchen salt. Uh, and hydrogen peroxide is not a complex um, chemical compound, but it's simply something that you find on any store. They use it to disinfect, uh, to when, when you cut yourself, you use some. Uh, hydrogen peroxide uh, as uh, uh, a way of preventing uh, bacteries to attack you. Nowadays there are more efficient uh, compounds uh, but they are chemicals derived from alcohol but hydrogen peroxide has been used to disinfect yourself for many years. But uh, per hydrogen peroxide and sold together get those condition on some iron items here I have some cogs then I have a spring but when I started this it was still uh, summer and uh, the earth in the day was equivalent <laughs> To the earth in the night and there was a no humidity during the night so that's why it is more like having some salt some colored salt like that but it's a good simulation and don't worry it's not all salt it is also some uh, damaged uh, iron that it uh, iron that has been attacked by rust okay but obviously those weren't enough for me for the second team section and during the last couple of weeks i continued with some other cogs and parts and not only iron parts but also brass parts and i will explain you why but and uh, during the past two weeks nights have finally started becoming humid and moist and cold so different temperature between day and night help this process during the day the water will uh, will dry and during the night no so let me bring here some other results of what i did guys 
and this is better i think uh, look at this uh, component here the the action of the rust is real okay and you have also verdigris there oxidation when some iron uh, items oxidate they generate uh, rust as you can see but brass is uh, an alliage of uh, copper and tin okay so there is no iron there but the copper can oxidate and become uh, green verdigris what we call verdigris so all the, th the elements all the items you see that are somehow uh, green oxidated now they were brass items uh, different type of uh, cocks and elements i don't know which one i will be using but during the day they they dry yes but during the night the salt is hygroscopic what that means it means that it recall the water from the atmosphere from the air because the air during the night is humid as a percentage of water in it and during the night the elements cover once again with some water and the mixer with the salt still there continue aggressing attacking the elements rust for the iron elements and verdigris for the copper those elements those items are better suited for what i have in mind but that's why this technique should be used i'm sorry for you if you live for example in all way in 12 months uh, a year of sun like i don't know like australia like south america not not really south america central america because of south america as inverted uh, season but it, it gets cold for example in nevada in the us or uh, i don't know uh, uh, arizona in the us where it, it is always so hot during the day and during the night and it is not that moist, not that wet during the night. Look, these elements have been attacked and those ones, guys, were covered with red paint in some points but the red paint completely disappeared, okay? And verdigris. Then uh, I have another batch here and you can see here that the the container has not been attacked by the rust simply because it is painted it has some paint protecting the the iron from the action of water and humidity and salt and during the night the water the the, the salt attract the water even here I have some chains, some chains that are rusted. <laughs> and verdigris, this item here also, it is copper, um, it is brass, sorry. And other elements are, uh, are like that. Uh, this one has been attacked uh, really good by, by the rust. This one, not too much because I think the the percentage of uh, um, of copper was not that elevated and this is not iron but it hasn't been attacked where the percentage of copper is enough uh, you get the verdigris the oxidation of the copper and if i compare this one with this one or even a similar dimension cog of this one this is more realistic than this one because this has been attacked constantly in plain hot temperature day and night but this one no it has it has it had the time to dry during the day and then getting once again attacked by 
the action of uh, water and uh, salt. Obviously, the peroxide has evaporated, the hydrogen peroxide has evaporated, but the salt recalls the water that is not uh, peroxide, hydrogen peroxide, but it is simply water. Hydrogen peroxide is H2O2, so uh, a, surplus, a surplus of oxygen in, in a molecule of water. But in this case, the water, and this is the action you get in nature when you have uh, an, an iron item in proximity of the sea, for example. Water and the salt from the sea get this level of oxidation. Those were new, guys, almost new. If you are wondering where I got, got those ones, those are mechanism, are cogs, wheels, etc. from a set of Meccano. Meccano, I don't know if in the US or other countries was known or was used by uh, children and by young ones, but starting from 1900, so starting from uh, the new century, <laughs> Of uh, 1900 up to 1982 or 1985, just before uh, the electronic era started, just before computer era started, Meccano was uh, something used by children to simulate movements, to simulate mechanics components. Meccano, and I still have some in some parts but now it has disappeared and they were marked Meccano but the rest has completely eliminated this one too was painted in some parts in red but the red paint has completely disappeared uh, no I don't have any one of those with the writings Meccano still visible uh, but I can show you uh, a new one, uh, just give me a second. Okay guys, here I have a couple of elements, uh, and I don't know, but maybe yes, you can see here, Meccano, made in England, okay, made in England. And this one is, I don't know if I have here, something like this one yes it is this one guys look i started from it was like this one now it is like that completely ravaged by oxidation okay and the meccano has completely disappeared there and this one is another one and this one too has uh, uh, meccano there it is there wrote Meccano there, Meccano, and here made in England, okay? Um, and this one was, uh, was, was, was not this one, uh, no, the very degree, the very degree, well, yes, this one. And this is the original version, this one has been attacked by the oxidation of the copper but originally it was like like this one they are identical okay guys so those elements will be parts those items will be part of the uh, second teamed uh, section not displayed like this but in some other ways okay junk yes uh ruin the part yes but i want them like that also some keys there some some keys and some uh some branches like this one that was used to to assemble the meccano okay uh what else the chains i've told you and there, i also have a hook here and another piece there, strange piece. This one is simply um, 
not been attacked but it has simply the salt on the surface because it has no meta metallic component that can be attacked by by oxidation so it is a non oxidable uh, metal okay and uh, I love this co gear guys it is somehow very very beautiful uh, that's all guys are you waiting for another building to be added to the left side of the layout if no please switch off this video because right now I'm about to show you the third house for the left side of the layout it is uh, a voluminous house and I will describe it later the house guys is this one from the top from the roof so some sort of a crossed roof crossed roof with some protruding here and there but let's go from a side guys this is from a side where it is the main entry and the main entry is under a couple of arcs and uh, why I did this because I thought why not uh, giving a way of protecting from the weather whoever lives in this house it can always be useful maybe if it is raining if it is um, snowing to get a little porch some sort of a porch to take a look around or to get uh, a little more comfortable before entering the home then guys there is also this side here with another entry there okay uh, with another entry this is a secondary entry this house has many entries because it has many rooms so another entry from this side here and here you have a balcony protruding from the roof and some sort of uh, um, bow uh, balcony not a bow window but a bow balcony so one entry here one entry under the arcs one entry there guys and a final entry here guys so you can access this level here under here and then you have also the red window in here okay this is uh, some sort of uh, um, connection between the modest house and this one I added some here and there some common elements between the houses obviously they all have the blue roof tiles on uh, uh, the blue roof tiles the tiles on the roof are blue okay that's that's better so you can access the house from here then you can access the house from here here you have I don't know maybe some sort of a cave uh, some sort of um, cellar whatever you want then you can access from this side here through the stairs here some sort of walkway that can get you inside the main house here then you can go around this uh, walkway here some other stairs there you have some other stairs and then you get access to the last door there 
and to access this level here, pure wood, so two levels are, in, are made from in stone, stone walls. Then here on top it is pure wood and you also have a mini uh, level under the roof, maybe a children's room, something like that. And bow window, yes, here you have a bow window from the, the side on top of the uh, secondary entrance on the first level. This is ground level, then first level, then uh, second level here and then third level under the roof so I added some uh, gold design on the uh, stores there as the previous house and the design is pretty the same so three layers of grey and white then two different colors two different uh, brown colors one more maroonish blue gold here the freeze and some flowers or some christmas wreaths or some mistletoe there and then gold here and there blue lanterns one two three and i think it's all from the outside so one two three lanterns from the outside uh, once again a uh, bench to get a to get comfortable while talking with someone here uh, some sort of uh, shield with the crown uh, here then what else guys yes gargoyle once again here you have a gargoyle let me approach the camera so here once again another gargoyle uh, here another protruding window from under the roof uh, and then here it is a little too visible you have the, the wires there because the door has just crashed on the floor but I will try to place it once again off camera so let's, let's continue so I was saying three lanterns, one, two, three lanterns, then one LED inside for each level, the gargoyle, uh, the support of war, the balcony here, wood, uh, chimney, one chimney, yes, obviously, and then the stores. Uh, windows are different and as the first and the second house, you don't have uh, a real windows or let's rephrase it, uh, you don't have uh, um, the transparent plastic simulating the uh, glass behind the windows because those windows are too small to get here and I wanted to let you see from these windows there, the other one that is the opposite side. I don't know if you can see, but it is clear that the two windows can communicate. The two uh, Gothic arcade uh, windows, their opening can communicate between uh, them. And then, what else guys? Yes, here you have the connector for the plug for the LEDs. And I think I made uh, the, uh, the turnaround, yes, as always, here, six, 16 hours to print the base. And then painting this took a little longer because it is a tall house, I think, between four and five hours to paint this house. Uh, bluish, pale blue, light blue, and then yellowish, light yellow for the stones there and the stairs and here the walkway is pure wood uh, so this will be the third house for the uh, left side of the layout i made the tour i think and during the final recap you will see it uh, closely and here too 
I tried to hide the wires making small holes like in this case here the wires get inside and they are just visible this little piece there but I've painted them the same color as the stones uh, here they are less visible because it is behind the lantern itself and here once again it is there okay and the rest of the wires are not visible okay let's get to something else final recap of part 13 of the 2024 season the new house for this left side of the layout and obviously a new tree i just finished it some minutes ago let's analyze the tree for a moment i use it the same technique you have seen me using for uh, these three during part 12 of this season but I used another one of the thyme slash thymus uh, plants and I model it like that it is a little taller than the previous one but this house too is shorter compared to the new one you have seen that I've shown you some minutes ago this tree is more complicated more uh, old let's say old it has uh, passed some difficult times during the years and now this part is completely dry without branches and also here you have some uh, dead branches there but the tree is alive and flourishing uh, i now uh, i don't think it is losing some of the of the foliage i added but this is the result those thymus those thyme plants are fantastic guys this is 30 centimeters but this house too is a very tall you have seen every aspect of this house and i think i will add it there and then i will have another house here and another house there or there i think okay and um, in the middle something more maybe this is too much towards the right maybe like that is better and the point of view is this one so this left side is taking a new aspect and it is getting where i want it to go especially because all the houses have similarities uh, stones and wood and here once again stones and wood lanterns um, a blue tiled roof blue tiled roof everywhere gargoyles okay and this one two guys as is proper gargoyle in there okay and it will be somehow hided like that sorry the the glue is still too fresh there and i like having the trees mm, oops 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 it got stuck in the in the roof like that uh, i was saying i like having uh, trees uh, near mm, the houses okay it, uh, it, it I, I don't like having too far uh, having trees too far from the houses uh, it's more it's more usable a tree like that it brings shadow during the uh, during the heat of the summer and uh, uh, life to the house with the birds etc and it is like that then guys a little surprise i've painted the gazebo there and i use it as some brown gray 
uh, and red inside you have the same timid colors as of the house of the other houses so bluish pale blue and pale yellow like that and then some red some medium red uh, one yes one no one yes one no. and uh, you can use these in plain summer without a roof or if you want with a roof uh, during uh, the winter so uh, some vines some ivy on the roof and also on the outside of gazebo uh, climbing where you have food then the tree is completed and the, um, the edges with the two uh, layers of different uh, green and uh, and uh, what else yes and some uh, oilish uh, steel for the these victorian um, fa rounded fences protecting the tree it is the first time you see it in this during this season uh, i have other i have modeled uh, other type of these um, let's call it uh, tree protector okay and now this at least it is completed uh, two hours of work to paint it and uh, also i primed a lot of things these stairs these stairs is primed this one too this one too and you see that uh, it has lost the yellowish aspect here i rotated a little these these three simply because guys now i need the point of view because now you have these stairs and these one two and they have um sorry and they are both primed so you can see that the seams that were visible where I glued them together the different parts with the resin have now completely disappeared and from the side too uh, the arcs are uh, visible under under it and uh, I don't know but this is how I decided to go uh, it has uh, reached the, the right eight and uh, right now I still need to paint it everything before the um, uh, the graveyard was at this level here so I've uh, slided it backwards around 10 centimeters to accommodate this uh, the space was too short guys too short yes as i told you i could have gone uh, like that with the uh, stairs there and then uh, all along here and then all along the curved section there too common for this left side uh, i wanted something getting um, in synchro with the architecture i already had there and this is the correct architecture and that piece there uh, some months ago was not here but was here i modeled it to replace the um, the final ramp and getting access to the bridge only by stairs uh, it was not usable uh, that way the the bridge so I kept my original design of having um, the final ramp getting access to everything people uh, carriages carts etc 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 instead uh, and it was a pity not to have used it so now it has a new life it will have a new life there guys 
uh, to grayish, yes, because it is only primed. This took me too much time to accomplish and if I hadn't uh, uh, been attracted by that uh, double stairs that it is not a twin stairs but almost a twin stairs uh, like you have seen in my I think 2021 or 2022 uh, the twin stairs were in um, 2021 Christmas Village, I think, yes, but Twin Stairs getting access to uh, some point from the right and from the left, but these are also the other stairs getting up there and then here. I still uh, miss a couple of uh, street lamps, I think, there on the, on the top. Uh, they are the same as this hole here where I can fit in the street lamps okay uh, or maybe some obelisk or something else I don't know right now <laughs> it's uh, just a miracle that I managed to find a solution almost five days of work to get there uh, that one when I modeled it originally took me I think five days five or six days to model because it is a complex design uh, but the bridge here completely different from this bridge here guys that has similarities yes arc uh, some arcs like those one but I use uh, the gothic arc for that uh, I, uh, you have seen it here you have a standard arcs but a stone here with some type of uh, triangle there and even the base there has some triangles so some common things together but it is completely different and I still have some space there to add something obviously there I will add a tree because I don't like it finishing like that and this is modular of course guys so I could have went uh, all along uh, towards the end of the layout and the graveyard even if I had to slide it back 10 centimeters is still there and also leave me with that spot there that is perfect for the very last uh, blue roof uh, building I will add after completing uh, this section here that will have one house as I told you another house there and then maybe some other things it is starting to get there now I have many many days in front of me of uh, painting everything the stairs also primed as i told you needs to be painted here guys uh, you have seen me adding those two elements those two items and as i told you say goodbye to the second team at section because in part 14 it will not be present as I will complete it in secret, secretly. Okay, guys, um, I'm still not in a very good mood because, uh, shame on me, I, I found, yes, a solution, up to you to judge if it is good or no, but it took me too long, too long. I should have... Uh, uh, come to that solution in half the time and so I would have had time to do something more in here but instead I just had in time to paint the gazebo and add uh, the tree that it is bigger than the previous one so it took me 
some more time uh, to complete okay obviously I still need to add snow on top of the trees but essentially I haven't found yet the right compound to do it the right compound at a reasonable price guys that is very important to get what you want but at a reasonable price um, Rebecca is still waiting for some life and then I also primed this stair and the carriage guys I also primed the carriage that it is still uh, working functional even if I have a, I have primed it but now I, I can start painting it uh, the stairs too primed 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 so I can paint them too uh, here nothing has changed here uh, I'm lacking some moss so I will wait a couple of weeks to get more of it once I will uh, go to Paraga Christmas store uh, everything is said I sincerely I was saying uh, I don't know if I will have some more space for more buildings like the two, the two up there and then other buildings uh, I still have four buildings I think one uh, two three no three buildings one uh, two three buildings three or four buildings from this series uh, I don't remember right now uh, maybe I'm missing something no uh, three or four buildings one uh, uh, still I still need to be uh, I still need to assemble it but I don't know if I will have the space for those buildings. I will try to add them. Uh, with the next part, the 13 is already gone. So with part 14 and the next one, 15 and 16 and so on, I will try to add each time some new uh, details to this Christmas village. Uh, I only have a few weeks for for completing it uh, and right now I'm behind the schedule because of it maybe I will paint the bridges and the stairs the bridge sorry and the stairs for part 14 but I don't know if uh, I need to do it on camera or not but you already know my painting uh, technique and how I paint every item. Uh, painting is uh, subjective, is not objective. So everyone needs to find his proper painting technique in these cases. Uh, but the, I will use gray obviously then then the same pattern there blue and the yellow etc on the top stairs i think i will use something different to to attract the view of um, of the viewers <laughs> i think so um that's all guys see you for the outro so mac have you checked it Okay, four houses. Thank you, Mac. I will never have a space for all of them. So thanks to Mac to have checked the houses are not three, are not five, but are just four. I mean the houses to add to the right side. I will probably be adding one more because sincerely I don't have all the space to accommodate four of them. Uh, I'm not in the perfect mood and I've not been all along this part of 13 due to that bridge, stairs 
up there. I hope to improve during the next days and go ahead with some painting and something more. So please forgive me if this has been a rough part. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment and give big thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Thank you for bearing my absolutely awful English and my absolutely awful mood. And see you for part 14. But only if you can forgive me. Bye, guys.